Good morning, children. This is our science period. Yes. Dear, we all know that our body is made up of different parts. Yes, and each part is responsible for different function. Each part is having a responsibility to perform a special kind of function. Yes, for example, lungs. Lungs are responsible for respiratory. Kidneys are responsible for excretory. Okay, heart is responsible for blood circulation. Digestive system is responsible for digestion. Nervous system is responsible for sending and receiving messages in our body. And skeletal system is responsible for giving shape and strength to our body. Yes. So in today's class, we are going to learn about skeletal system. Children, we all know in human skeleton or in anybody's skeleton, there are different bones in different shape and size. Yes, and these bones are very important because they give shape to body. Yes, in today's class, we are going to learn about different bones. Yes, so let's get familiar with skeletal system. Now, let's start with skull. The skull. What you can see on the screen, children? The human skull. Children, do you know the adult human skull is made up of 22 bones? Yes. How many bones, children? 22 bones. There are 22 different bones in human skull. And they get together to form skull. Human skull. Is it clear? Now, children, let's understand human skull little more. For better understanding, let's divide human skull into two parts. One, children see on the screen, one is the colorful part and the other is this white part. Okay, white part is containing facial bones, okay, which gives shape to our face and this colorful part which is known as cranium which is known as cranium and it protects our brain do you know children this cranium is made up of made up of eight large immovable bones this cranium is made up of large eight flat immovable bones Immovable bones means a bone that cannot move. Is it clear? This much is clear. Now see how the eight bones are there. Now see on the screen. This yellow is one bone. Then two bone. This purple one. And this red one. Children, you can see here. Let me take black pen. Now, can you see this red color? Yes. This is one. So how many bones are there? Three bones are there. Now, one, this green one. So, four bones. Yes, now this brown part is again, how many? Two. One is right side, another is left side. Five, now there are six bones. Now, one, this blue. Again, it is in two number. Yes, two in number. One is on right hand side, other is on left hand side. So, cranium is made up of eight large flat immovable bones okay and you know what is the job of this part of the skull it protects our very important thing which control our body which part of our body control us brain yes cranium protects brain yes children it protects our brain this much is clear now, you all are familiar with cranium. Yes, you all are familiar with cranium. Now, let's understand the lower part of human skull. That is the facial zone. The facial zone or the facial region. Yes, now children here with the colorful part is a facial region. 
The colorful part is the facial region and it includes 14 facial bones. These 14 facial bones gives shape to our face. This much is clear. So, cranium and facial bones together. What they form? They form human skull. I am repeating again children. Cranium is having 8 large flat bones and the facial region is having 14 bones and they both sorry they both together form human skull and you know children the only part that we can move in human skull is lower jaw lower jaw is only movable part in human skull yes children you can see here on the screen the lower jaw the lower jaw which is the part of human skull is only movable part in this yes and because of this only we can eat and we can talk is it clear only movable part of the skull is the lower jaw and because of it we can talk and eat clear After skull, let's see what is backbone. Yes, the backbone, which is also known as spine. This spine or backbone is very important part of the skeleton. Yes, children. Do you know, children, this backbone or spine is attached to our skull? Yes. You can see here, children, this part. This part is skull this is the part of skull and from where you can see this green color it is spine this spine is attached to the skull and this spine or backbone is not one single bone actually it is made up of 33 small bones yes and this small bone is known as vertebra and because there is 33 small bones that means it is a plural so this plural of vertebra is vertebrae because of uh, this uh, because this spine is made up of 33 vertebrae it is also known as vertebral column it is also known as vertebral column and this vertebral column is made up of 33 small bones which is called vertebrae now, this much is clear children. Now, see why this backbone is important for us. Why this backbone or spine is important to us. Because, you know, this backbone or spine help us to twist. Other than twist, it help us to bend. And other than twisting and bending, it keeps our body straight. It keeps our body straight it uh, holds our body upright is it clear children so backbone is very important part of skeleton system because it protects our uh, spinal cord which i'll which i'll be telling you later on other than this it helps our body to uphold uh, sorry to hold upright and it allows us to bend and twist. Now children, do you know why this vertebral column is important for us? Because it protects spinal cord. And what is spinal cord? It is a bundle of nerves which is connected to our brain. Which is connected to our brain. Yes children, this vertebral a uh, vertebral column is very important for us. Why? Because it protects the delicate spinal cord. And what is spinal cord? It is a bundle of nerves which is connected to our brain. Children, you can see here on the screen. You can see this yellow line. Can you see this yellow line? What is this? This is spinal cord which is bundle of nerves which is connected to our brain. And then when it comes downwards, it's spread in our body, which helps to send and receive messages. This much is clear, children? 
Now, you can see here in this picture how the spinal cord is connected to the brain and how it is spreading in our body. And this children, can you see here this? Uh, let me take other green color. Okay. Now children, can you see here this orange line here? Yes. What is this? This is a spinal cord which is protected in vertebral uh, sorry, vertebral column, which is uh, safe in vertebral column. So, this is clear to you all. So, children, what is spinal cord? Bundle of nerves. Yes. And what is the job of this spinal cord? It sends and receives messages from the brain to the different part of the body. Clear?